Hey, badass business owners, welcome back to the show. Got a question for you. Do you find that it's easier for you to create new customers who've never used you, who've never heard about you in some cases, or is it easier for you to have your current customers or people that have used you in the past to continue to use you in the future? especially if you have a business that people have to use either monthly, every three months, every six months, or even annually. Believe it or not, it's actually easier to get people to come back to you than it is to find a cold customer who's never heard of you before, or they might not even be looking for you. However, I will tell you that so many business owners never take advantage of this. They never take advantage of these people that they've got into their hopper and into their pipeline. And instead, they spend all their time and energy chasing to find new people. Well, today I want to talk about one of the things that you can do to help increase the frequency of the customers that have used you in the past. And that is through emails. I know that sounds weird. And I know right now, stop. Some of you are already saying, Tammy, I do not have time to sit down and write emails out to all of these people. I'm not asking you to do that. Well, I am, but I'm not. Let me explain. Because there are so many tools that are available to you today in which can do the work for you behind the scenes. What if I told you you could spend maybe four to six hours creating some emails and then put it on autopilot? That's right. You create a funnel that brings you in customers without you really having to do much. This is what you're going to try to do. What you're going to do is you're going to create 12 emails. 12, 2, 5, 5, 12, 12 emails, right? And all you're going to do in those emails is you're going to talk to these people. I know what you're thinking. Tammy, what am I going to write about? I can't think of 12 different things. Well, we're going to mix it up a little bit. I'm going to give you some ideas. So for example, what if you had reminders? So if you know that the average person uses you every three months, every six months, every year, one of those emails, if you're a yearly person, will be, hey, I just want to let you know it's coming up on the one year anniversary of the last time that you used this product or service. And I wanted to make sure if you wanted to go ahead and get us to get you on the schedule so that we can get you done. For some of you, that might be two of those emails. You do it every six months. Um, some type of follow-up system. It's really great for a lot of people just to make sure that they're still happy and to remind them that you're there, especially the further apart they use you, they tend to forget about you. So that's one way that you can use the email. Another thing that you can do is you can talk to them about the benefits of why they want to use you. If you're a carpet person, think about it. Not only can you remind them to use you once a year, you can send out a reminder to them every September or so to get ready and get on your schedule before it fills up for the holiday season. Because if they have family that comes over, they're always going to want to make sure that their carpets are clean and ready to go. So think about your business. Is there a certain time of the year that's your peak and you want to talk to these people saying, hey, you want to get on the schedule before it fills up? Sense of urgency, puts that into them. Now, another thing that you can do is create emails that actually talk about the benefits of using your product or service. You know, did you know type of things and how they can help make their life easier, especially if you find that your ideal customer tends to use you because they don't have the time or the energy, then you talk into that's one of the benefits. Now, you're what you're trying to do is you're trying to remind them why they used you in the first place and why they want to use you again. Now, you're not creating these long emails, okay? I'm just talking about 500 words probably. Something short, sweet that gets the point across as to what it is that you want to talk about. And they want to hear from you. An email is not dead. Contrary to what everybody thinks, people are still looking at email. I bet you your emails like mine, mine, it gets full of stuff, not just because of the business stuff, but just for people all over the place emailing me things. Now, you're probably wondering, how are you getting these emails? You already have these emails. Most systems today and most businesses today collect the email up front. That's how they're communicating with their customers. And if you're not doing that today, it's really simple. All you have to do is just start asking for it. Everybody has an email that they use for stuff. Sometimes they have multiple emails if they're trying to say, okay, this is the email I give out to everybody and only my family and friends get this email. Whatever it is, just make it part of the routine that you collect emails. But like I said, a lot of people already collect those emails. And then what you're going to do is you're going to use a system such as MailChimp. Now, MailChimp is a great system that's perfect for beginners or for small businesses, at least until you get pretty big. And guess what? You can use it for free in the very beginning. No, they're not paying me for this, but 
I know, for example, I use ConvertKit and you can use ConvertKit, but it's going to cost you a little bit more. Why not go free to get you started? Once you start collecting a lot of emails and you start staying on top of that and you really get into this and love it, then go start paying for something. But I don't want you to start paying for anything right now. We're just, like I said, taking that four or five minutes to set it up. And if you guys want, I'll do a little tutorial that kind of shows you how to do this, but it's pretty simple to use. And all you're going to do is you're going to set up a sequence that just says, these are my 12 emails. Send this one out one month after the date you put them in, another one a month after that, and another one a month after that. And then next thing you know, you have 12 months. And in some systems, you can actually tell them to repeat that sequence. So it's not like you have to create new ones all of the time. You just have to have these 12 and then you can have them go through it. And in some cases, you can tell it to go back to the beginning or you can continue to add more and more emails. And you might have specific emails where you're running a special and you just want all the people to know about the special. Then you go in and you create something that's called a broadcast email that goes out to everybody at the same time. And you're like, hey, we're running this great special for the holiday season. And this is what it is. Uh, email is very underrated for a lot of small businesses. And many people are not taking advantage of it because it's better than sitting there getting on the phone, calling people. Have you ever noticed that when you're really needing business, you get on the phone and you start calling people and then they start booking? That's a great way to increase your sales at any given moment, because what you're trying to do is convert one out of 10, two out of 10. And in many cases, you can get multiple people to sign up to have your service or product or whatever it is that you're doing. This way with the email, you're not having to sit on the phone and do it. You're investing your time up front with that four to six hours. You're writing those emails, you're putting them into the system and you're letting the system do the work for you behind the scenes. This is so underused by so many businesses, but I will tell you the businesses that have figured out email and they use them all the time and they send out emails, whether it's weekly, monthly or whatever, they tend to be remembered. I tend to remember the businesses that send me emails on a regular basis. Now, like I said, I don't want you doing it weekly to start with. If you start seeing some traction, then yeah, play around with it. Sometimes you can have somebody help you with those and they can help write those emails. But all you're doing is talking to a friend. You're talking to your ideal client. And that's what you want to do. Sometimes people get hung up in their head. And the reality is there's probably, I bet you if you sat down and brainstormed, there's probably 10 different frequently asked questions that you could do and write an email email around those 10 frequently asked questions. Right there alone, there's 10 of your emails. So think about the different things that you would love to be able to tell your, your past clients about your business, about your products, about your services, and remind them and all of that. Those are perfect emails. They don't have to be very long and the system is doing it for you. Like I said, something like MailChimp is perfect because your work is really keying them into the system and getting them in there so they can start getting those emails. It'll do all the stuff for you versus you having to sit at Google and type in every single one of those names. You don't want to do that. You don't want to be spamming people like that, especially if you have a business email, because now it looks like it's coming from your business email and it's 10 times better. So there's so many great things that you could do with this. I'm just touching on it because what I'm trying to do today is to plant a seed for you of another way that you can go ahead and grow your sales and get those past customers to come back. Because remember, we've talked about three buckets for you to be able to grow your sales. One is to get new customers. One is to get your existing customers to come back more often. And the other one is to increase your ticket average. This one lands perfectly inside of your get your frequency up, get your customers to come back and whatnot. You can even do referral things, by the way. One of those emails, oh, I didn't even think about this one. One of those emails can be all about referrals where you offer something. I had a great conversation yesterday about this, where you offer somebody something if they get you a referral. And it could be, hey, by the way, we pay for referrals. So if you happen to have somebody that signs up for our product or service, we've got a special gift waiting for you. And it doesn't have to be anything big. Heck, people are so happy with like $10 gift certificates. I mean, Starbucks makes a killing off those $5 cards, which I always find funny because I don't think anything is for $5 at Starbucks anymore. I don't go there, so I don't know. But it's another great thing that you can do. So many different things that you can do with this. Just explore it. Think about it for your business. And is this something you can do? And like I said, it's going to be anywhere from four to six, maybe 10, depending upon how much you get into it. And for that 10 hours of work, and then you put it in place for an entire year and you you have monthly maintenance of adding in the new people, um, you know, once a week, it takes you what? 
five, 10 minutes to key in any new addresses that you've collected, uh, or even once a month. And you just keep those emails that just go into a sequence. They go out automatically. You don't have to do anything about it. Just make sure it's set up in the system. If you're interested, I'll put a link to MailChimp in the show notes and you can at least check it out and decide if it's something that you would want to do. But it, it's definitely an option for you if you want to try to get your customers to come back more often and you don't feel like sitting on the phone trying to reach out to them all or sitting there emailing them one at a time. Now you can just do it as part of this entire process. And if you're interested in other ways that you can help increase your sales, then check out this video over here. Pretty sure it's over here this time. Check out this video and it'll help you as well for you to be able to find ways to get more sales. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.